So let me ask you a quick question. You go to your local dive center, you meet an instructor, and you take a class. You get certified, then later on down the road, you go to another, uh, say, a dive center somewhere, and you want to take an additional class, maybe an advance or a specialty, and you notice that that dive instructor teaches a little bit different than the first. Which instructor is really better? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. I'm down here in beautiful Key Largo. I've been down here all week doing some wreck diving. And I'll be honest with you, I don't get a lot of trips down here just because my business partner does more than I do as far as this far south. But I've come down here with a couple of friends to do some wreck diving and I've got a special guest I wanna to introduce to you because we've got a cool collaboration going on. Guys, this is Mr. James Blackman from Divers Ready. And if you subscribe to our channel, you definitely need to go check out James. I'll put a couple links up here and definitely check out all all of the links in the description go check this guy's channel out he's got a phenomenal youtube channel we are actually subscribers of his and we want you to be as well james Appreciate welcome it. to us brother all right great let's to you, uh, mate. let's sit down and have a little chat yeah, here for sure um, and by the way, guys, we actually did a video over on James's channel as well. So definitely go check that video out as well. We're going to drop these videos at the same time. Same so time. if you're watching this one first, there'll be a link. I'll put it at the end of this one as well. Go check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. But uh, James, what I want to talk to you today about is actually teaching scuba. Now, we're both instructors. We teach for different training agencies. Yep. Uh, we hold different ranks as instructors, and we actually teach different courses as well. So um, obviously, I own a dive center, so I focus more on the recreational side or more uh, specialty-specific styles of diving. And I know you do a lot more technical training than what I actually do, hence the shirt, guys. Yeah. Check out <laughs> Miami Technical Diving. That's right. So I just want to ask a couple of different questions sure. since we all are in geographically different locations, if you will, what are some of the struggles you find as an instructor, say, who's teaching in the ocean versus an instructor like me that teaches in local lakes, quarries, and springs like that? Yeah, so very much the, you know, the conditions we face and the changeability, really. Um, you can do, you can plan a course over one weekend and Friday, beautiful, flat, calm, no current, 100 foot of viz, and you go out to the same exact site the very next day, Saturday morning, and it's this is like this, yeah. rough as all hell on the surface, the current is blowing and you're just like, what happened? Like yesterday it was great and I had these students under my care and everything was under control and then just overnight it's all, all gone Pete Tong, so yeah. yeah. And, and I'm sure as far as what you teach, I know you primarily teach technical diving. Yeah. If, if, when, if and when you do teach recreational style divings, what are some of the struggles you face when you say you're doing surface skills with students or uh, say skill sets at say at 15, 20 feet, just the basic scuba skills? What kind of environmental conditions do you face that we wouldn't in a lake? Well, definitely current is, is probably the main one. Um, you know, if I'm teaching recreational, we're on the shallow reef, and reef creates current. It's a barrier, a physical barrier in the ocean. So if you've got water moving and it's coming up against a structure like a reef, it's got to push one way or another. So if you're training in the shallows, um, some of the considerations are to make sure your student is facing into the current. So they're not getting blown sideways, which can give them the feeling of losing control or free falling sort of thing. Um, and there's little tips and tricks about that that you, you kind of adapt to when you're in the ocean. So definitely, definitely sort of, you know, bear in mind current and then surface conditions are a big one. Um, you know, diving from fixed objects, as I know you do in the lake, either from a, from a pontoon, mm -hmm. a stable platform or a shore entry, um, can be a lot different from getting in the water and getting out of the water on a rocking boat deck. Right. Um, so there's a lot of considerations there where you need to, you know, keep safety in mind first, safety of the student, but it's also good experience for them to learn different techniques. Do a back roll entry one time off of a boat, do a giant stride off of a boat, and just kind of adapt to what Mother Nature deals with it, you know, every course that we teach, so. Absolutely. So as far as you being an instructor, how long have you been an instructor? Uh, 11 years now, I 11 think. Years. 10, 10. And, and what made you want to go down the tech route versus stay and say on the recreational side? It's really about carving a niche. I mean, I do teach recreational courses and I also teach public safety diving courses, but definitely, like you say, Miami Technical Diving was set up uh, to predominantly teach open circuit technical diving. And the reason being, we're here in South Florida, you throw a rock into any bar and grill on a waterfront and you're gonna hit three dive instructors. You know, that's just yeah. a, that's just the nature of being down yeah. here. I mean, we're the wreck diving capital of the world. Uh, there's, you know, 
tons of dive centers that employ hundreds of dive instructors. So you've got to be different. If you want to mm -hmm. build a business for yourself, you can't just be another, you know, hate to say it, but just another Paddy Owsey. What, what makes you different from that Paddy Owsey or the other 500 Absolutely. That down here? Okay. So, you know, technical diving is something I can teach that not that a lot of people, people can. can. A yep. lot of people can't. So we tend to focus on that. And plus, one of the reasons we focus on technical diving is because it's dictated by the geography. We've got the dive sites that suit technical diving down here. We've got wrecks in, as you've seen this mm -hmm. week, we've been diving together, the 135 to 330 foot range. And they're interesting wrecks. And they're wrecks that once you've gone past recreational diving, you're like, okay, what's next? Well, <laughs> come over here, my friend. Yeah, let absolutely. Me show you how to, let me show you how to put a pair of doubles on. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so we've got the sights and it's very hard to teach technical diving and going down and looking like a, a sand bank just for the sake of getting deep because that's not really attractive you know but we've got wrecks here that are awesome that are fun to explore that are at every depth and incremental steps absolutely on the florida shelf so so let's, let's say that i'm a diver and i want to get into technical diving mm. what what piece of advice you, or better yet instead of giving it to me let's give it to the viewers yeah. what what piece of advice could you give a certified diver who's thinking about getting into tech what what should they expect and what should they really be prepared for before they go down that that say that tech route yeah well brian i'm glad you asked that question <laughs> <laughs> um i think the single biggest piece of advice I give, and I, we did actually make a video about this, uh, is really have your fundamentals down solid. Do not come into a tech class, and it doesn't matter if you've just passed the prerequisites <laughs> or if you have hundreds of dives under your belt, but you've got to have the four core skills of scuba diving down pat. You've got to have buoyancy control, you've got to have breathing under control, you've got to have at least decent trim. We can refine it, we can make it better always, but you've got to have an awareness of trim at least, and you've got to have your propulsion techniques down. You've got to have strong, steady, equal finning. So if you've got those four things down, that for me is the best sign that a student is ready to start tech. From there, you know, if, you, if you're mathematically minded, scientifically minded, if you enjoy the physiology of diving, there's a lot of that in tech, so that, you know, attracts those kind of minded people. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely just a, a a good solid grasp. You don't have to be perfect, but a good grasp of the four fundamentals of scuba diving. Absolutely. So let's say you did that. You're a certified diver. Yeah. You, you took your tech class. You did very well. You, you earned that certification. That's one of the things we like to say. We People don't purchase a certification. Yes. They purchase the training. Absolutely. They always got to earn that certification. But let's say you went down that route. You earned that certification. What's next? What should the student do next afterwards? Well, as we recommend when somebody learns to dive and you do your open water course, the next step is to go out and get experience, right? Um, so we teach over eight dives, the advanced nitrox and decompression procedure course, um, which your friend mm -hmm. did with me this week. And it gets you to a certain point. It gets you to understand the fundamentals of technical diving and you learn the core skills. But the only way to get perfect at them is through repetition and eight dives isn't enough for that. So really it's about going out and getting experience. And that's the same for every level of diving. You know, something I say a lot in my videos is you don't just go from one course to the next, to the next, to the next, and all of a sudden, you know, you're hey presto, a rescue diver with 10 dives. It's not, it's not healthy to have that mentality. Go out and dive, get experience, and enjoy your diving, enjoy the process. Absolutely. Don't, don't rush through your training. Yep. Well, James, I gotta be honest, brother, it has been an absolute honor coming down here. Um, I know blast. we've talked a couple of times. Uh, for the ones that don't know, me and James met for the first time in person at DEMA yes. uh, last November. We literally walked in. We, we did. I was like, hey, there's James <laughs> from Divers Ready. We're talking, I was looking that way and we always walked straight into <laughs> But But it's been a blast coming down here and diving with you. Uh, I've had a lot of fun this week. I've got a lot of great footage. Um, yeah. In the future, I know you're planning a trip up north, hopefully, and you're wanting to swing by. We want to we want to extend our our welcome to you. We want to take you out on the lake and take you diving some of our favorite spots. Appreciate that. Uh, take you out treasure hunting with us. Hopefully, we can do a lot more collaboration videos yeah, in the future. I'd love that, um, guys. I, I truly love scuba diving more than just about anybody out there. And there's a lot of great YouTube channels um, that you can go and watch. But I got to tell you, James's videos qualities are just bar none some of the best i've seen your topics that you talk about are just so real and down to earth and that's one thing that we've tried to do with our channel is not fabricate anything we you know we don't do a lot of great editing on our videos because we want you to see what it's actually like well your videos are the same way you're giving out information that is concise it's very educational and more importantly it's keeping people safe while diving i appreciate and, you saying and, that and, yeah, we... and as instructors that's what we have to strive to do is teach safe diving and 
brother, it has been an honor to come down here and dive with you. I've really enjoyed it. We've got to get back up north, but guys, if you're not a subscriber to Divers Ready, go check out his channel. I'll put all the links down in the description below. We've got a ton of content coming out on our Facebook and Instagram, pictures that we've been taking together. Yeah. That Trust me, I've been it's itching been to upload this. It's, it's like, awesome. i got to upload it. And James like, no, don't upload it. <laughs> so if you've not watched his video, I'll link it. I'll put it somewhere up here. Click it because these videos are going to drop at the exact same time. Yeah. Uh, but James, it's been a blast. Guys, make sure you subscribe to us. Make sure you subscribe to Divers Ready. It's a great channel that you can learn a lot from. I've learned from your videos. It. So it doesn't matter that what was. your rank is go check out his channel as well. But guys, if you like this video, do me a huge favor. Smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to us if you're not subscribed. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. I know you've got an Instagram. What else you got social media wise? Yeah, the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's all at Divers Ready. Uh, Miami Technical Diving as well, mm -hmm. .com and, and the same on, on all the socials. Absolutely. Yeah, so just type in Divers Ready, type in Lake Hicker Scuba, and you will definitely get some great content coming your way. But as yeah. always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. Oh, and wait, before I forget, we got to say hello to somebody very, very special. You ready? Ready. Hello, Zebra. Hey, Zebra. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you next time. Guys, we really hope you enjoyed the collaboration we did with James at Divers Ready. And if you haven't already, make sure you go check out his video as well that we did for his channel. We really think that you'll enjoy it as well. But, you know, while you're over there, just smash that subscribe button for him. I know that we will appreciate it, and he would definitely appreciate it as well. Guys, we'll see you in the next video.